Hey guys, um, today we're gonna go ahead and make spaghetti squash and I'm gonna make homemade pasta sauce to put on top of it. About seven years ago, I stopped or attempted to try to stop um, eating any gluten. I was running a lot at that time and just found my joints were starting to hurt. I just, my stomach didn't feel good and, and um, somebody that I worked with just suggested I stop eating gluten. So I cut out pasta. So for quite a few years, I didn't eat spaghetti and I love spaghetti. I love the recipe my mom taught me when I was a girl and it's still the recipe that I use today. So when I met Nick, Nick was big into spaghetti squash and I'd never had it before. So, when, so then what I decided to do was why not mix the two together? So um, I tried it, I loved it and we eat it. Typically it's a good winter meal for us because I don't have to grill and it's something that you can get a couple meals out of. Um, I, when I make mine, I do let it cook a few hours, so it's typically something I do on a weekend or like today I've got a lighter day for work, so I'm going to actually make it and let it cook through the afternoon. So I'm not really going to prepare this sauce right now, so I'm going to kind of talk you through what I do and then we'll go ahead and do a couple other video clips like preparing the spaghetti squash itself and then kind of at the end. So what I do is I just brown about a pound and a half of lean ground beef, so this is 93% lean ground beef. And then I just use about a half a pound of Graziano's Italian sausage. I just like the flavor that it gives it. It does give it more fat than a beef, um, but I just like the flavor. And then I usually chop up about a half an onion, white onion. Um, and so we're gonna, we'll brown the meat, the meat, let the juices cook down. I will chop up this onion and about half of these mushrooms, put them in and let it kind of saute and soften up a little bit. And then all I do is I add, and I, I realize it's a jarred sauce, but again, it's how my mom made it and it's how I love it. But a jar of ragu sauce, no vegetables or anything mixed in it, no meat. Um, and then I add crushed tomatoes and stewed tomatoes to that. Um, mix all that together, and then I add in my seasonings, which is usually oregano, some garlic salt, um, and some crushed red pepper. Um, so again, I'll put it all together. I'll get the recipe and the amounts all typed out for you guys to put with the video. And then this afternoon we'll come back and show you how to cook the summer squash. So while the spaghetti squash, like I said, will take a couple hours, the squash, this squash only takes less than 30 minutes. Um, and then you've got sauce left over. You could do it for a couple meals on the week or over on the weeknight too. So we'll be back this afternoon. Hey guys, we're back. Um, the pasta sauce is about ready to go. I've got summer squash, I, which I, or sorry, spaghetti squash that I showed you earlier. So I basically cut it in half and I purposefully chose these smaller squashes because my thought was Nick and I tonight, I'll roast this one and we'll eat this tonight. And then like I mentioned earlier, I have, you know, this is a good leftover option for you. So I have another small squash that we'll probably eat one night next week. But all you have to do is cut this in half. I've already got my oven set at 375. So we're gonna go ahead and just basically scrape out any of the seeds that are inside the squash. And we're kind of, I don't know, in, you know, when you typically eat a pasta dish, pasta is the majority of what you eat. Well, for us, we kind of, the majority of what we're gonna eat here is gonna be more the sauce, which is, you know, the meat and the vegetables and everything that goes with it. So this should be plenty for the two of us to have a single meal out of. Um, Another thing you can do, and I can talk about this again when I plate it, is you can add ro any roasted vegetables that you would happen to have. You could almost heat those up if, as leftovers. Throw those in before you put the sauce on. Sometimes I'll do fresh spinach. Throw the sauce on and then that actually roasts the spinach just to give an, another way to add more vegetables. So we've got, we've got those squashes hollowed out and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I took the lid off first, we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of olive oil on the inside and then we're just gonna rub it around. All we want is enough to kind of lightly coat it. We don't want it to be dripping necessarily, but it's enough so number one, it won't stick to the pan and it won't get really super dry. So that's what's good about that. Sorry, I gotta wash my hands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast these at about 375. And these are small, so the timing on them is a little, it can be, it can vary obviously based on the size of the squash. And all you do is just Google search. Again, Google is your friend. So just Google search roasting spaghetti squash, um, and it'll give you some guidelines about temperature and timing. And I'll show you when we come back what they should look like so that you know for sure that they're done. So I've got these both rubbed with, with 
olive oil. I'm just taking some salt and pepper. Just kind of put it on the inside of it. Again, it's just to add a little bit of seasoning to it. And you don't necessarily need to just do this with spaghetti. You could use this as your side dish, like if you're somebody who wants, who likes potatoes, but you're trying to reduce maybe the amount of carbs. There's very few carbs in, in spaghetti squash. So you can see I've got salt and pepper, I've got olive oil. We're gonna tip them upside down on a dry baking sheet. I'm gonna bake these at 375. I'm gonna come back to you to let you know for sure how long I'm gonna cook them and just what they should look like so that you know that they're done. And then we'll kind of plate everything up and this is our Valentine's dinner. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hey guys, we're back. Okay, so I've got the spaghetti squash ready. So Nick, I don't know if you can get close enough. Um, so on my instructions, I talk about the timing. So depending on the size of the squash will dictate how long it has to cook. So what you, want to, what you want to do is be able to touch it and see that it gives way like that so it's soft. I usually flip it over and then you can either leave it on for another five minutes in the oven. I just shut the oven off because what it does, it helps kind of cook away any extra liquid because we're trying to reduce the liquid that's going to be once we add the, the pasta sauce to it. So now that we've got our spaghetti squash cooked, all you're going to do is shred it. And you'll see that it just, it looks very similar to true actual spaghetti pasta. Um, so we're just gonna, ooh, that's smoking hot. We're just gonna go ahead and shred this. Um, I like extra spinach. So like in my bowl, I've added probably a cup of spinach. In Nick's, I have not. So all you have to do is kind of figure out how much squash you want. And again, summer or spaghetti squash is very low in calories. It's very low in carbs. So. I'll probably just add about this much, call that good. And then if you wanna get a picture of this sauce, so this sauce has been cooking a couple hours. I actually shut it off about a half an hour ago because it was pretty warm. Um, but you can see it's nice and thick. Um, another, again, like I talk about trying to cook the liquid out of the squash, the last thing you wanna do is have spaghetti and have it be like runny with extra water. So that's why I try to cook the water out of the spaghetti squash and then actually shut this off a half an hour ago. So all I'm, I don't need a lot. I'm probably gonna do one, maybe a little bit more of a scoop of, of um, sauce. And then to that, I'll probably sprinkle some more crushed red pepper because I like it really spicy. I'll add a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese. And then basically I've got spaghetti. Spaghetti, and but without the pasta, without all the carbs, Basically, it's all vegetables other than the meat that's inside the sauce. Actually, fairly healthy. And then whatever we have left over, you can even do it with the spaghetti squash. Just, again, like we always say, let everything get to room temperature before you package it all up and put it in your fridge to reduce the amount of condensation that happens in the, pa in the um, container. But you could, I would package them separately. And then all you have to do, I mean, literally, it's a five, ten minute heat up on a weeknight for a quick meal. So I hope you guys like it.